All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a wire figure sculpture. So we're gonna start with uh, aluminum wire. And with your ruler, measure out five feet. So you have one foot, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is take both ends, put them together. Okay. Hold them here. And then the next step, you're going to pull this end. This is your end uh, for the head. Okay. And you can put fingers here while you twist. Kind of do like a twist tie. This is your head. Okay. Now you have a long strand of wire and we're going to start to make the body. First you're going to pull these apart. This is going to be your shoulders. So you can do this with your fingers. You're going to form your arms. Next, so arms are going to be maybe this long. Okay, the overall height is going to be around 12 inches. So go ahead and squeeze this. This is coming up, okay? So do the same thing and you can kind of just see how many fingers I have here. It's kind of just a, a approximate measurement. The idea is that they're the same. These wires now are going to cross. They're going to come back over kind of parallel the shoulders. Okay, great. Now, the ends of these wires are going to drop down to form the spine. Okay, so these drop down to form the spine. Now twist. Okay, so arms and hands usually can fit into pockets, so the waist is going to be about here, and the arms are just a little lower than the waist. So this is going to be your waist. And you can do this different ways. What I like to do is just fold this back, make a little loop for kind of like a hip. Okay, this one, same thing. And again, just twisting with your hands. Okay, so the idea is that we'll, we will pack this and make it more bulky, right? This is just the skeleton or the armature. Okay, so very good. Let's go with, um, we're going to make our legs now. Look how long this is. Obviously our legs aren't going to be this long, okay? But we're going to use this to double it back. So in proportion, we're going to say that we need a knee, and then that we need the, the knee is about here, and then uh, the foot. So establish where the foot would be, and we can just kind of make. Now with this, and wrap it around, okay? This is gonna give it more structure, gonna make it more stable. Perfect. So we're creating a static uh, person right now, and then what you'll be able to do is move it and manipulate it after we're done. Okay. If you want to make your legs a little longer, you definitely can do that. I'm just giving you kind of the basics of how to get started. 
Okay, so this is our armature. From the head, shoulders, arms, spine, hips, legs, and feet. Okay, and then what we can do from here is manipulate and make this into a dynamic movement. Okay, great.